This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Well, it's been a while because I've known this man for quite some time, Mr. Grant. Yeah, bro. How are you, yeah, doing, mate? I'm good, Bob. Yeah, good. Literally, I just walked through the door from training, so you caught me at a good time, Bob. There we go. And we know what you're training for. Huge yeah. fight on uh, February 11th at York Hall uh, on the MTK show against Danny Dignam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to go, bro. I'm ready to go. Can't yeah. wait. You're entering, I think, your eighth year as a professional this year? Yeah, yeah, eighth year. Yeah, eighth year. Be eight years in um, July, I believe, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah you've, man. You've had uh, tw 20, 20 odd fights there. I mean, you've lost a good opposition, the ones you have lost to, but mm -hmm. you've been in and around there for quite some time now. Yeah, well, like, to be fair, I, like, two of the losses I don't consider losses. One was for the English title against Elliot Matthews, where I feel I got jacked. The other one was in the ultimate boxer. So, do you actually class that as a loss in a three round contest? So for me, I've only lost one contest, so that was against um, Shirokin. Shirokin, yeah. yeah. So in my head, he's the only guy that's really beat me, you know what I mean? Well, you mentioned Shirokin there. He's obviously an opponent that you and Danny Dignam have in common. What, what did you make of his performance against Shirokin? Um, he done well in a couple of rounds. Like, it's just, Shirokin's hard. So you can't really judge someone who fights Shirokin, you know what I mean? It's like, he's... Shirokin at times don't know what he's doing, so you can't you can't know what he's doing. Do you know what I mean? He's um he's a good operator. He's tough and he he's a good good opponent. Um, the fight could have gone either way when it, with him and Danny. To be fair, you know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, there was times where Danny was picking his shots uh, and outboxing him. Then Shirokin would would smother him, catch him with good shots, and um obviously cut him up a bit as well. So it was a good fight. I thought Shirokin might have edged it, but it could have gone either way. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, let's talk about your opponent Danny Dignam obviously so far so good for him in mm. his career um, being linked with fights with uh, over the last sort of few months with Felix Cash and yeah, uh, yeah. these kind of guys and that. do you rate Dignam? yeah 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 I rate him as a fighter yeah as a, as a guy he's alright I've actually spoke to him on a few occasions you know what I mean he's cool it's just business isn't it bro? you know what I mean and um, yeah I think he's a good good technical boxer he can, he can do a bit of everything well. So, yeah, no, I rate him. He's a good fighter, man. He's a good fighter. He's well ranked in uh, some of the governing bodies. So, what does a win over Dignam do for your career, Grant? It, it just pushes me in the right direction again. Like, every fight, I don't, I don't look at Dignam any different to what I look at my last opponent, who was a journeyman. I, I train like a madman for everyone. You know what I'm saying? I never put, I never put anyone above anyone. Both... <laughs> Everyone's got two hands, two feet and a heartbeat and everyone's dangerous. So I just train like a madman for anyone I'm in the ring with, man. You know what I mean? That's it. We talked about this, obviously, uh, a little while ago in this interview, but eight years as a professional, I mean, are you, I'm assuming you're going to say you're not satisfied with everything that's obviously happened and, and you've done in your career yet? No, absolutely not, mate. There's still things that, that need to be fulfilled. You know what I mean? That, that are in my mind that need to be fulfilled. I won the Southern area quite early on, box of the English. I feel I should have won the English, you know what I'm saying? And um, But, like, everyone's got their route. Like, I've had to do it a bit the hard way, the small hall stuff, selling the tickets, selling, you know, all that crap, you know what I mean? So, it, it, everyone has their route in it, and that was my route. And, thankfully, I've got this shot now against um, Danny Dignam. And, like I say, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a very, very good fight. It's still a part of boxing that gets really kind of overlooked, you mentioned kind of, you know, your earlier days, which a lot of boxers do have to go through, the majority of boxers have to go through that kind of fighting on the small hall scale to kind of get their name into contention to, to being on bigger shows and bigger cards. But the ticket selling, the pressure of that, it, it, it doesn't really get talked about enough, does it? No, nah, no, nah, not at all. It is like, it's, the, it's, it's more stressful than the fight, you know what I mean? You start looking forward to the fight when... When like um when the ticket sales are coming in again and you're having to like kind of sell yourself to people, yeah, come to the fight. In the back of your head, you know that you're really gonna go out there. You're probably gonna deal with this journeyman, but you still got to sell 100 tickets so you can deal with the journeyman. You know what I mean? It's just uh, it's the name of the game. It is what it is, isn't it? You know what I mean? So, but yeah, not enough is spoke about it. There's like there is um it should be an open discussion across the forums a little bit more. To be fair. Mm. No, I just I kind of look at listen. Obviously, 
covering the sport for over like whatever ten years or so. You see kind of both sides of it, and I think where the the high end of, of of not just British boxing but boxing in general, I think where that gets the limelight and, and spoken about, these kind of things get kind of a little bit hidden away. These kind of matters within small hall boxing. Yeah, well, they just get brushed under the carpet, in it, man. You know what I mean. So that's why that's why when you see someone come from like the small hall background and that and contend for bigger titles and win bigger titles, it's it's definitely like a hats off moment for that guy. Do you know what I mean? Because it is hard. It's hard, a lot harder. You know what I mean? The route's harder. Mm, I mean, just off the top of my head, a name that springs to mind is is Michael McKinson, who yeah. who's kind of had to do it that way. I mean. I was talking to Eddie Hearn only a couple of days ago and he said that I didn't know who Michael McKinson was a little while ago. And yeah, exactly. As you know, I mentioned his name to him. And he said, but <clears throat> he's kind of grafted on that scene, done his work there. Now he's fighting Virgil Ortiz in, in America. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Now he's got his chances and he's, um, he's took them with both hands, isn't he? Who did he box last? Um, Congo, wasn't it, Chris? Congo. Chris yeah. Congo. And, um, yeah, he's just... He's took his opportunity and, um, yeah, fair play. Again, like, hats off. You know what I mean? Grant, map me out a, a perfect 2022 for you. What, what what needs to happen for you to have a successful 2022? You know, get this win on the February 11th, which, I, 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 for me, I feel very confident in doing, absolutely, in style. And then just seeing what, what comes off the back of that win. Do you know what I'm saying? That That would be great. And then, contend for for more titles. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, who knows what could come off the back of this WBO European win, man? You know what I'm saying? And um, I just hope it can propel me into the right direction and where I feel like I've belonged to be for such a long time. Do you know what I'm saying? So for me, that would be great. Win that fight and then boom, propel into, into other major fights. You know what I'm saying? You've been in good fights, but do you think like, this fight will dig them like I said, getting a scalp like Danny Dignam on your record could kind of open people's eyes up again. I'm, I'm saying that you've been pro eight years, you've been doing your thing over that period of time, but it mm -hmm. feels like you do need a win like that against someone like Dignam for people to take notice again of you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? He's, um, he's a name that, that's up there. He's been, he's been in, what's he? Um, his name is mentioned with the British. He's obviously European um, WBO champion. Uh, welder honours are on his, uh, on his doorstep apparently and all that kind of stuff so absolutely someone like Danny Dignam's scalp on my record yeah man um, it, it's only going to do me favours innit do you know what I mean so I can't wait bro I'm ready to go now honestly like I'm fit I'm ready to go I've still got four weeks um, I'm ready to go bro I'm, I can't wait honestly and, and your call as it always is banged out with these empty yeah. shows as well that'll be yeah. rocking that night as well it looks a good rocking fight. Rocking gladiator pit in it. Do you know what I mean? So I love it. I had my debut there. I love your call. I always perform all right there, but you know what I mean? So I love your call. But it's going to be a good fight. I'm, like I say, like Danny Dignam is a, he's a good operator. He was a good amateur. He, he, he's done well as a pro. Um, it's going to be a good fight, man. It's going to be a very, very good fight. You know what I mean? And I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, bro. Looking forward to it. Well, we'll look forward to it. Like you said, four weeks, just over four weeks to go uh, live on ESPN Plus in America and then IFL TV uh, over here and everywhere else. So, have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish, Grant? No, literally, bro. Happy New Year to you. I'd like to thank my um, sponsor, Brawl Sport. Um, without them, obviously, things have become very difficult for me in training, you know what I mean? But, yeah, all my family, all my kids, I love you. I ain't got enough hands. But, uh, yeah, I... Yeah, everyone who supports me, I appreciate you all. And um, it's going to be a banging night, February 11th. And uh, don't miss it, man. Get tickets quick. Definitely. Well, we'll catch up with you on fight week um, of February 11th. But um, best of luck in the rest of your training. And yeah, like I said, we'll speak to you nearer the time of the fight. Thanks, Coop. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much, Grant Dennis. My pleasure.